Hi everyone, it's Nintendogs Peace here, and welcome back to another episode of Turnabout Nintendogs. So in this episode, I'm planning on taking Clavier to the park to train him for Pro Cup Disc. But before we do that, I'm gonna go ahead and enter Apollo in another I mean, am it, Amateur Cup. Um, I do want to point out something. I actually was just thinking about it before um, I started this episode, and I just realized I have three Nintendogs games that have the modern style house, which would be all, which would be my French Bulldog 2, French Bulldog 4, French Bulldog 5. I was thinking about changing the version or the house for my French Bulldog 5. However, it mean it would next it would be it would mean that the next time you see the French Bulldog uh, the fifth French Bulldog version, the dog house version, it would be look a little different. But it would also make the most sense because those are the dogs with the least amount of photos. And that means I wouldn't have to take as many more. So but I was also thinking about doing it for my French Bulldog too because they seemed to, they would probably be the next second best fit for the house. Next house I would pick. I'd be, it would be the same one from this version, the Scandinavian house style, because um, uh, so because I should still have two of those, but also two of another one and all of that jazz. So. Because this version and TPV2, I believe, are the only two that have the um, Scandinavian home. So. I don't know yet, though. I just gotta figure it out and stuff. And I'm thinking I'm gonna get the uh, luxurious house for this version. Because it's one of my actually one of my favorite houses. Surprisingly enough. And so, no, I don't think it'll be the next episode that I change the house. I'm gonna give you guys one more episode to make up your mind between the luxurious, the futuristic, and the Mario house for this version. Because those are the only ones that I have one of. Hopefully, by that point, I will have decided what version. Oh man, we lost. Because he wouldn't catch it. Um, by that point, I will probably have made the decision of which French Bulldog version. We'll be getting the Scandinavian house. I probably will make a, a poll on the Nintendogs kennel, you know. So, we'll, we'll see. All right, so that's that. I'm just gonna go ahead and save, and then we'll go take Clavier to the beach park. I have literally been scratched or bitten by so many of my real life animals recently. It sucks. So, one of them wasn't even my fault. Well, both of them weren't my fault, but... So what, the whole story back story behind that is, so, on my left leg, I have a scratch from my dog, but we were in the car yesterday, oh, the car on Sunday, the 30th, the 30th, and, um, great. This is great. Someone take me to the cafe, so I can go train there. I'll go to downtown. Which there I can go to the beach. Anyway, um, he every time we would make like a left or right turn, a very sharp one, very fast, my dog would want to lean over and grab onto me for support, so he wouldn't fall all the way over. <sighs> no, we're not going to the park mounts. And there was one one point where he was cutting up, and it comp like hurt, and so it scratched me. So I have a kind of a 
it's not really all that deep, it's just, I just have a spot on my leg where it's scratched. And then yesterday when we got home, well, yes, also Sunday, we got home, and my, I was saying hi to Milo, I picked him up and, you know, was bouncing him around a little bit, bouncing him in my arms, because I'm a weird cat mom. And, um, <laughs> I put him down on my bed, I walked away for a second, he chases up chases me and runs up behind me and bites the back of my leg. So I have teeth marks from him in my right by my right knee. So yeah, it probably looks like my animals hate me. I promise they don't hate me, they just they just have trouble containing their emotions. <laughs> I have a video coming out at the end of the month that's pretty important, so um, if you could watch that, that would be great. Um, it doesn't come out until like the 31st, I hope, I hope, maybe 31st, maybe August 1st, it depends. I might even put it up even earlier depending on all of that, but it's pretty important to the channel and something you guys would probably want to um, watch, so. Please, 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 please. Seaside Park, sure, we'll just go with him because I'm sure he's not in Pro Cup. We'll just go with him. It's all, it's all good. Kind of want to show you guys something I've been, I have done a bunch of times before, but never really. Oh gosh, he might actually be a little better, but it's fine. Um, oops. Um, there's a little glitch with the boomerang kind of only works when there's one dog in the park, but, or if the dog is better than the other dogs in the park. I don't know if I can do it, but I will try it in a second. My book is getting in the way of my throws, so. You gotta hope not, neither of the dogs catch it if there's more than one to do it, All right? So, that's why, all right. Go to supplies while at their run, taste, and after. Go to your, just change your dog's accessory. Call the dog over. Well, that didn't work as planned. Hi, Clavier. How you doing? You look really weird in that. Well, actually, it's gotta be before, it's gotta, you gotta be able to catch it, which is why they can't have it in their mouths before. All right, let's try this one more time. I really wanna show you guys this glitch. I really wanna show this to you guys. This is really funny. All right, just gonna wait. You gotta wait for the perfect time to do it. All right, they're not gonna catch it, so we're gonna switch to classic collar. Oops, I did it too early. Oops. Ugh, I just really, I just. At this point, I'm not even training. I'm just trying to show you guys a glitch. Or it's not, I don't even know if it's really a glitch. It's just a really cool. I guess you could say it's a glitch. I have a couple of photos of me showing this off, but I didn't throw it hard enough. Throw it the other way. Come on. Come on. I can usually do it. Come on. I won't go the other way. Usually they go the other way too, but apparently not this one. No, Max. No. 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 No! Stupid. Come on. Let's go the other way. Throw it up. Okay. Yeah, I can throw it up. It's fine. Alright. Perfect. Alright. See, now you have to have me see that it floats right there. I'll call the dog over. And then you can pet them with the boomerang in your hand. And yes, you can throw it again while it's in your hand. Watch. You can throw it again while it's in your hand. So that's how you fix the glitch, basically. You just kind of throw it. But I thought it was pretty funny. I take pictures of it a lot sometimes. But so you may notice sometimes that I have pictures of dogs being pet with boomerangs. Usually, you only see them with my dog as alien because that's the only ones I have left. Um, and I did those before all of the computers corrupted themselves, so. <laughs> yeah, fun times. I just really want to throw it that way so I'm not hurting my freaking book. 
Five here, you're so slow. Look at them, they're besties. There's a couple of posts I need to make on Amino too. There's a couple that are overdue that I've been meaning to make. I can't get it to go again. Come on. It went to the right instead of the left, but this is really annoying. <laughs> hard for me to get to throw it to the left. I don't know why. Maybe because I'm not left-handed. Um, they make it accessible though, so you, can only, you don't have to throw it to the right. You can throw it to the left if you're left-handed. I only throw it to the right because I am right-handed, but... The left works just as good. I like to switch directions up on them sometimes to get them confused. Because, <laughs> you know, they get used to running in one direction. So then you throw it the other way to confuse the crap out of them. So they have to turn around. <laughs> Look at how slow he is. He's so slow. We're in the sand. Look at how fast the boomerang is going. Alright, we're gonna be done here. The video episode's getting long. And I don't wanna spend 20 minutes here. Normally you would train for about 20 minutes, but I'm lazy and yeah. Oops. Look, it's Lindy. She's a baby. I got a red rose. Oh, and I went up north over the weekend, and I'm covered in mosquito bites. No, we're not going again. Like, I have, like, four on one leg. It's really actually kind of aggravating. So I'm making up the pool right now. So I'm gonna I'm gonna end this episode here because I want to work on this pool. And we did basically all I wanted to do in this episode. And yeah, I'm just losing interest, as you can tell. <laughs> um, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe for more content like this. And I will speak to you all next week.
with another episode. Bye, everyone.